Kelly, I'm Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colors. I've got some really exciting things to share with you today but first up I wanted to share with you my very first completed coloring book and this is it here. It's called Kaleidoscope Designs Artist Coloring Book illustrated by Martha Day Shook. 31 intricate designs for colorists of all ages and it is by Peter Pauper Press. So, as I said, this is the first book that I have actually completed, which anyone who really loves colouring will know, that's quite an accomplishment, because we collect books and we don't always finish them. So, yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you. Let's go through it. So, I just realised I haven't actually done the title page, but in my mind it is still a completed book. So throughout this book, I have used my Copic markers because they are just my favorite medium to use. And I have tried to use all different kinds of color palettes um, and challenge myself on some of them to use colors outside of my favorites and outside of my comfort zone. For example, this one, orange isn't my favorite color, but it looked really good with this combination of blues and greens. This one's here. This one here is a really lovely pastel palette. All different types of pinks. This one here has some really bright colors. Not my favorite page, but I think it turned out okay. And as you can see, all of the designs are geometric designs that are based on what you might see if you were looking through a kaleidoscope really quite like how this one turned out and also this color palette I'm really happy with this one bright and cheerful some more bright and cheerful this one I actually took some colors from the cover there Another pastel one that I really, really love. Again, this is a quite an unusual color combination, but I think it works quite well. This one it looks like some of my markers were starting to run out. So I will have refilled them since then. Again, this one's some really bright colors and some really pale colors. This one is another color palette that I really love. I did actually finish this book quite a while ago um, and it was before I actually started dating my pages. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to tell you when I completed these, but it's fun to go back and look through. This is another one that I really love the palette on. This is a really bright one. Not sure I love it, but it was a good exercise to get outside of my comfort zone. This one's all yellows. This one's all blues. I was obviously going through a one color phase. <laughs> oh, and this one is all greens. It's quite nice though. Kind of reminds me of a stained glass window, that one. Some more pastels. All pinks again. Another pastel one, that one's really pretty. I really like that one. I think it's probably my favorite in the book. Bright and colorful and happy. This one's more muted, but it's very pretty. And this one's colorful and bright. Another bright one. This one's more dark and moody. And the puppy wants to come in and say hello. <coughs> One moment. Sorry about that, I'm back again. This one's kind of bright pastels. Really fun and summery. And that's the end of the book. So it feels really great to have finished a book. Um, yeah, so that's my Kaleidoscope Designs Artist Coloring Book completed. 
So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have some exciting news. So to celebrate the launch of my YouTube channel, I have also launched my website, which you can find at amandacolors.com. Um, my website is a place that I will be sharing some free downloads um, and some other fun coloring uh, content, um, tips and tricks and tools and other things like that. Um, I also have a page there of my recommendations of pencils and books and other mediums that I really love to use. Uh, you can find my wish list there uh, and also see a gallery of some of my work. But the very first download that I'll be sharing is a free one, which hopefully will be something helpful for you. Um, it's a template for colouring notes. So I know a lot of you like me really like to um, write down the colours that you've used and the other mediums you've used so that you can remember. So I created these for myself, but I thought that I might share them with you as you might find them helpful too. So there is an A, uh, a full sheet. Um, they are available in A4 and in US letter size. Um, so there's a full sheet. So this is all for one book. So um, for example, I've done Rita Berman's Spring Book. Um, and you can write down the page, the date that you started, that's an Australian date format. Um, and when you finish, the different colors, the different mediums, and then you would just continue that for the other pages in the book. However, you may find that there's not quite enough room on that for everything that you want to include. So I have also done these uh, little cards that you can do per page if you choose to. Um, there's a little bit more room to write down different mediums. There's a little bit more room for more swatching. Um, and hopefully you find it really helpful. So I have included the link to the website and to the downloads in the description below. So make sure you check it out and get your free download. Thanks for spending time with me today and flipping through my completed coloring book. Um, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.